me. So I think I'm leaning towards Dipper. Robbie. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the person that brings guitars to parties. Yeah, for sharing the deep pain, one of the Junji Ito stories that grossed me out in my short it, story collection. It grossed me out looking at that thing, but now it's just there. <laughs> hey, it's I like... sent messages. I sent palate cleansers. One. Two? <laughs> well, I also sent the uh, Miyazaki versus yeah. Ito. Yes. Oh my goodness, I... <laughs> I saw. I read the caption and I was like, "Oh, okay." His Italian was foretold, as I just see cat and head. And then I saw the full picture. I'm like, "Oh, this makes so much more sense now." <laughs> <laughs> um. So so hop. Did you know what Dipper's real name is? I remember they mentioned it in an episode, and it's left my brain. Well, guess what? It's the not Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> but the fact for this week is that Dipper is actually a nickname. It is stated in the show that Dipper's a- that Dipper is actually a nickname that he acquired from having a Big Dipper birthmark on his forehead. The show never revealed his real name. However, it was later revealed in Journal 3 book as Mason, which matches with Mabel. Mm. So... I was going to say, that's a very good segue of a fact for today's episode I know. that we watched. It's like the only one up to this current date that fits with the episode. <laughs> so, yeah, so if you are newer here or you're just jumping into the series and you have... How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't catch this in the beginning. We're watching through all of Gravity Falls and just kind of chatting about it. And ultimately, in the end, we've been gathering... How many times we've said someone in the show is our favorite character and who we feel like we've been most like in each episode. And then mm-hmm. are we going to wrap it up with a quiz again to see who we actually are, to see if, how close we are? We could. Yeah, we'll see how it goes when we get Let's towards see. the end of the series. I guess you guys can give us a suggestion. If you would like to see us do that, let us know at twitter.com slash pointless disco or via many of the links that we have below. <laughs> I keep forgetting to update the twitter <laughs> when the episodes go live that's completely fine because you know what eventually we'll get good at this i know yeah. I, I haven't made a thumbnail in a while <laughs> it's one of those things where i'm like should we just delete the twitter and just use our own and by our own i just mean mine <laughs> <So>. <laughs> i know i almost never use. i think the last time i posted something on mine was new year's i thought you posted bread that was before look. New Year's. I'm going to look. I posted Aww. a selfie on New Year's because I said... I You commented on it because I said I don't want any more character development. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> and then I said, no, have it all. Oh, it, wow, that's really close to what I said. All the character development with a gift that says you got to have more. <laughs> but yes. And then... Or you could let us know via YouTube comments or things like that. We are uploading these on YouTube as well if you're just an audio listener. Um thanks hello Welcome. oh hello but also thank you because this originally was a streamed and just audio version and then it turned to just an audio version because doing live stream scheduling is the butts mm-hmm. and then somehow i convinced hop to do video well i don't know how that conversation oh, I think it's because went spotify started to offer it and now we don't upload video to Spotify, but no. hey, our Spotify vid- plays and views went up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I imagine it's got to be weird to do on Spotify because I never have the Spotify app like actively open when I'm listening to things. I just mm-hmm. kind of like have Spotify running and then I put on my headphones and I leave my phone wherever it is. Spotify seems to be doing what a lot of um, video, like, other things are just like we want to be the next youtube and it's just like and then no one wants to talk about the statistic of 
or not the statistic, but it's just like, what was it? Twitch is like, yeah, we want to be bigger than YouTube. And then YouTube's like, yeah, we're going to, we're trying to compete with Netflix, uh, Prime, and like, and it's just like, YouTube is not even looking at like, these other at the services. Yeah, yeah, at these things. They're like, we're going to kill YouTube. And it's like, well, try to do better than Netflix. <laughs> Which, that's a different conversation that I don't feel like getting into. That's completely fine, because now we can roll our dice to see who talks about this episode this week. I found my missing dice. Which one was the missing one? All of them but Stinky Cheese. Mm, where were they hiding? <laughs> Behind my Steam Deck. <laughs> or Stream Deck. I was like, <laughs> we were recording yesterday, and I was like, I had dice here. Where did it go? And then I was like, I bet it, there's no way it could be... Oh, there they all are as they come <laughs> tumbling out. It's always the place so, you least expect. So which would you prefer, the ocean, one, the sky, or the galaxy? Mm, I don't know which one would fit this episode better. Um, let's go the galaxy one. All right. Because Dipper has his blue hat, and we see a lot of blue hats eventually throughout this episode. Also, it's when we find out about a certain mark in the galaxy. Uh, I have a feeling, unless you rolled amazing, that I'll be going first. Yeah, I beat you by four. Wow, almost I, the perfect roll for you. Yeah, I, we should keep track. Hold on, can we can we remember who, who won each dice roll? Because I always remember, like, we always... Well, I say we. It's mainly me just like, I don't know how it, it's even. We can keep track of that in our spreadsheet, wherever that is. Yeah. Um, I don't remember. Mm. Were you the last episode as well? I think so. Because I remember there was like the weeks that I was sick and then I won the dice roll. Yeah. I think I did the first one. Yeah, because I remember... Yeah, Do you remember what weeks you were sick? Uh, I was sick a lot this past couple of... <laughs> um, Let's see. I know I was sick. My biggest sick time, I'd say, it was around Thanksgiving. Were we recording these yet around Thanksgiving? No, we. it was December. That um, we started. Hold on. If I go to the first season, we can also just look i can look at back the episodes or something like that to make sure but i'm pretty sure i remember i did tourist trapped and everything i think i think i did the second one because i did mcgucket i thought yes yeah i believe you did that yeah because you were like hamsters or not hamsters beavers uh, <laughs> and then I think I did the next two, and then you did the inconveniencing. Yes, I did. So I I can double check on that, but I know I did the first one, and I think you did the second one. And I know you did last week. Yes, and I'm doing this week. So. Will these stats actually determine if someone is going to, if we're going to even this out? Absolutely not. That is up to the <laughs> dice. It's just more of a fun stat that I don't know why it didn't come to mind to track earlier. So. All right, whenever uh, you're ready. So, there we go. So this episode takes place in Gravity Falls with a certain set of twins. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we are down at the Mystery Shack, uh, and the, everything's getting spruced up. They have like a, a a panel dance floor. They uh, they're putting up party th uh, things, um, and uh, Grunkle Stan looks like he came right out of the seventies. <laughs> oh, not yet. In this, not yet. Later, he does, but. Uh, but yeah, pretty much this opens up and like Dipper is just like, Mabel, I'm not feeling too good. What's well, good? And he like throws up a uh, silly string all over Mabel and Mabel's just like, 
oh my gosh, yeah, well, how about that? And that returns it, and they're like vomiting <laughs> silly string on each other. And then Wendy comes over and it's just like, guys. And you just think she's going to reprimand them, and she's just like, how about this? And just like joins in, spraying silly string all over Yeah, she everybody. says like, guys, I have something terrible to share with you all. Blah. <laughs> yeah, and they're, all, they're like, oh my gosh, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh, while uh, they're doing that, like, around Grunkle Stan, I think Mabel's even like, yay, uh, confetti, <laughs> and, and, uh, Grunkle Stan just has enough, and he's like, all right, enough with this, and just takes everything, and just, like, get to work, mm-hmm. uh, to where, I think, the theme song plays, and then we find out, uh, now Grunkle Stan is throwing a party, because he heard that it is a good way to potentially rip people off Mm -hmm. for money something uh he wants to get the kids to start spending more money at the mystery shack yeah and that was he felt like this was a good way to have them do this so he gives everyone their own um responsibilities uh and so like is it this point no because uh i remember before the theme song plays he asks differ to Dipper and Mabel to um, make photocopies of the flyer. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's like, oh, I, I th- Seuss has his little song and dance about the copy store where you can get like mugs and posters and everything. Mm-hmm. And he's like, not their theme song, but it should be. I just really like the copy store. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Grunkle Stan says no to save money. He has an old copy machine that he fixed up in the back room. Yeah, I was trying to remember what the invitation said. Oh, it was like general favors and then free question mark. At yeah, the free question mark, like kids and teens. Um, so anyway, he they he tells Dipper to go do that. So, a different Mabel, so they go to make the the flyers, and they're like, "Does this thing even work?" And uh, it's like, just it's struggling and uh dipper kind of lays his hand on there where it scans his hand and then his hand pretty much comes to life rips off the paper chases after them as they begin to freak out and throw uh diet pip was it pip a uh, pit pit there we go because it a... comes with the pit <laughs> <laughs> did they make that joke yet or does it not yet that... i don't think yeah i think it's a little bit later um, but yeah, they throw it on there and it just dies. <laughs> and they're just like, oh, okay, well, that was weird. And so they, they make all the, and then that's when it cuts for commercial. And, uh, when we learn that Grunkle Stan's like, yep, we're gonna, we're doing all this stuff. So I need you guys to do these different jobs. Okay. And so he's like, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> what was the line he says? He's just like, all right, you party people. And Dipper, <laughs> Dipper's just like, what? <laughs> um, and so he's like, okay, this is what we're going to do. Seuss, since you uh, kept complaining and cry- and to make sure you stop crying at me, you're going to DJ for the night. And he's, and he's like, against my better judgment, he's like, what does he say? Uh, he's like, yeah, finally I can use this book I've been reading. It's just like how to DJ for parties or something like that. Yeah, and... Grunkle stands like that does not do confidence. Yep. And <laughs> turns and he's like, Wendy, Wendy and uh, Mabel, you guys are going to run the stand. The ticket uh, stand. The ticket stand. Um, to where Mabel's like, which is really confusing because uh, Mabel's like, she's like, what? No, I want, this is the only time I'm going to be able to meet my own friends and everything. And uh, like uh, meet people my age and have fun. And, uh, and Dif- Dipper's like, oh, I guess I could do it. <laughs> and, and Grunkle Stan's like, that means you have to sit outside <laughs> with the ticket stand all night with Wendy all... without, yeah. <laughs> yeah, without leaving all night. <laughs> and it's just like, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I think I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so, which... My question was, what was Dipper's job originally going to be? Because Mabel, yeah, Mabel doesn't, doesn't get, get a job. One. Yeah. So, um, but anyway, maybe they were just going to hide Dipper away because they were afraid of him. <laughs> Being a party pooper. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, 
so anyway they go and do that there's all it kind of flashes forward uh, a little bit as um, yeah they're all kind of going through uh, just kind of having the different party things going on and um, let's see I'm trying to remember the order of everything like Seuss is like is still learning the, the music and uh, <coughs> uh, Mabel pretty much she wants to make new friends I okay I don't remember the actual order so I'm just gonna go in a slight order that I remember mm -hmm. and so Mabel is she begins like kind of dancing having fun and then backs up uh, to meet uh, Grenda and Candy Ch oh wow I'm looking at how they spelled her last name and I'm like I think it was Chu but or Chu I don't I don't know Candy so and it's like kind of they're just kind of sitting very awkwardly, and Mabel only starts talking to them because she looks it over and sees that uh, Grenda has a lizard crawling around. And she's like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. I now, okay, I realize how I skipped forward. So I will co come back after this part. <laughs> so Mabel is just like, oh my goodness, you guys are so cool. Uh, and uh, Candy, she's, they're like eating popcorn and <laughs> And he's just like, just like, yeah, whatever. And then like pulls out a hand with forks taped to it. <laughs> I think they, they ask her why. Yeah, Mabel I, goes, why do you have uh, forks there? And then she demonstrates getting the popcorn mm -hmm. with her fork fingers. Mm -hmm. So before all this, um, oh yeah. And the only other thing that is important of this scene is that they meet Pacifica Northwest, uh, the popular kid of uh, gravity falls it feels like she was taken out of mean girls and put in <laughs> here uh i now understand the joke that i make um <laughs> but yeah so pacifica just like they they're gonna say yeah we gotta find out who's the queen of the dance and sector just goes up he's like just give me that crown and mabel's like no i'll stick it for my friends and and compete as well so they're doing all that but uh, before all this happens, a little, little uh, couple steps back, uh, Dipper is daydreaming of suddenly getting a growth spurt and dancing <laughs> with, uh, with Wendy and just like amazing her as Sue stands in the background playing trumpet <laughs> and just like, <laughs> like having a grand old time as he's like putting on deodorant and everything and he looks over and there's just Mabel standing next to him and just <laughs> scares, him, yeah. scares the, the heck out of him and he's just like what's going on and, and so Mabel begins teasing he's like oh sure I'll sit next to Wendy and he's just like <laughs> shut up and he's and just like so what are you going to do talk to her and he's like what no I have and he's like I have I, I have it all taken care of and like Mabel's like what you have one of those plans that are so complicated and convoluted that it's like you're just gonna get in your way and he's like no and like he unfolds it like so many times it's like a 20 step plan <laughs> to talk with wendy and uh the main thing is that um mabel is just like you you're gonna just get in your way with that it's like why can't you just go up and talk with her and he's like step number nine <laughs> <laughs> and she just kind of gives up um and uh yeah kind of cuts to <clears throat> which uh they're at the ticket stand and it's just like so busy and he's like okay looks at his plan it's like it's time where he has to talk with her and he has to like, do a witty banter i think was yes. a step one uh he asks her what her favorite candy is or something like that or favorite snack and she's like well i can't think of that there's just so many like degrees that's a tough one dude and he's like yeah me too and then just like and then he's like oh. just like everyone just that awkward deer in the headlights mm -hmm. just like i messed this up so then we go inside the party we have that scene with mabel meeting grenda and candy while and now so after that we come back outside where the party is just getting it is getting uh it is definitely building up uh and getting exciting and wendy's like i need to get in there and dipper's like hey i i want to get in there as well 
Uh, oh, sorry. I just saw it's not a trumpet. It's a trombone. <laughs> I just saw that in there. Um, and so they go. She goes. When he goes into the party, and Differ's like, "Well, what's the big deal if I also go in?" It's not like um, Grunkle Stan's gonna notice. And as soon as he like five minute break, guys, and uh, Stan's just. <laughs> no you promised and pulls out like a tape recorder and just like <laughs> it's like i promise and just like hides it back away and just it's like okay and so he stands in there uh and then um throughout all this uh what was it he looks inside the window and sees wendy talking with robbie mm-hmm and it's the same daydream except uh robbie and robbie is yeah robbie and wendy are dancing and uh what is it uh uh, shoot i dipper goes off to like wendy and like in his daydream wendy beats him up and just like no i am gonna go and dance with robbie and we're gonna get married or something <laughs> along the lines of that and uh and they just like run away um so anyway all this happens um where oh no sorry there's something that happens before that I watched this yesterday, and yesterday was very busy. <laughs> <laughs> so, because I'm also remembering, like, one of my favorite lines in in this episode is, like, Seuss and Grunkle Stan talking. And they're just like, man, this is, like, a really popping part. And they're just like, yeah. And he's, like, going through and just, like, t- talking about all this stuff. And then it's just like, yep. Yeah. And there's a $15 exit fee. <laughs> and it's just... Uh, the two teenagers from yeah, the it's just group. Like, like we only got thirteen. <laughs> no, <Chats. laughs> we're here forever, and we never see them again in this episode. <laughs> um, so throughout all this, uh, um, before that daydream happens, um, uh, whatever his name is, Diff- I keep forgetting his name. Differ uh, remembers the copier, and so he copies himself, so that way he can hang out with Wendy, and uh number two who he named tyrone which was apparently the name that they always wanted to be called uh to run the stand and he even says like hey we're not gonna like do that normal thing where we get jealous of each other right and they're just like yeah no that's yeah that's for sure not gonna happen and they're like cool and so they work together and uh nothing like pretty much that's when robbie gets in the way and they're like we need to think of a different plan uh to where their plan is um pretty much to go and make more clones to fix to to help get get this all figured out so they're gonna make a clone to steal robbie's bike and uh the the clones are like wait only one of us like one of like one of me well like we i need at least another one and they're just like uh yeah sure we'll do that and that's when we get paper jam dipper <laughs> who is uh can barely speak <laughs> and good thing i don't think he needs to breathe because it looks like he would have trouble doing that as well <laughs> um so anyway they do all that um and they make another clone for him uh so there's like now dipper three dipper clones and paper jam dipper like kind of existing and uh the thing is like they they get the bike and everything i'm trying to remember something after the bike he comes up and starts talking with with wendy and that's when um i think mabel gets in the way and uh and like it it makes him lose his nerve and uh forces like all the the dippers to like kind of freak out and like we need more <laughs> so they print out like almost 10 different versions of them of himself and they come up with this like huge list of like this is what we have to do yeah, it to... requires uh 10 dippers not including the original dipper mm-hmm. ultimately yeah and yeah so it is a fun scene of just seeing them all like working just like yeah okay let's do this and this and i'll write in 
perfect. <laughs> so <laughs> they go and do this, and they're oh, what was it? They they show everything. Actually, I think this is when they steal Robbie's bike. I think. No, they did the bike with. They the did the bike thing. I'm trying to remember everything because, like, I know that there's like step the one. The next is... step after, because Robbie's out of the picture now, so then they start yeah. doing the thing where like they have the dot for Sue, so yeah, then the they have the Seuss. money for Grunkle Stan. <laughs> and... and there's they switch out the music. Um, I'm trying to remember all the different things they they do. Um, I wish they had it here in the in the article in the wiki that we're looking at but uh oh wait here it is oh wait this is dipper's plan the original one which is step one is smile step two wear clean pants step three is compliment her looks step four is laugh at her jokes step five is be nice six block robbie seven wear fitting clothes eight wear a tie nine talk to her like a normal person (laughs) (laughs) the hardest of any steps um Oh my goodness. <laughs> Step 10 is describe how she smells. Maybe Ooh. it's good he stopped at 9. Uh, Step 11, make her laugh. I don't think she's laughing after 10. I think you just failed after Step 10. <laughs> um, I don't know. Now I'm thinking, uh, whatever. I'm not even going to put a lot of thought into the Step 10. Uh, 12 is agree with everything she says. 13, pretend that you're fun. 14, pretend that you're confident. 15, mop up sweat. In parentheses <laughs> in private. Sixteen. Lose burrito smell. That seems a little late to do that. Yeah, you might have done that early. anyway. Seventeen. Pretend to read smart books. Uh, Eighteen. Use deodorant everywhere. Once again, a little bit late, but okay. Uh, also, this is like um makes sense for. Because that's the age when people would just douse themselves in Axe <laughs> Spray because they didn't know any better. Um, 19, display Monster Monster Mon knowledge. That has a link. So what is Monster Mon? Is that like Pokemon? Uh, Monster Mon is a card-playing game mentioned in Gravity Falls. Oh, in the in the video game that they have. So yeah, it was. it's an actual video game. Hmm. Um, and then 20, do not display monster mod knowledge. <laughs> so let's see. And I do not see a updated plan. Yeah. The list with all the dippers. Um, so anyway, they do that. Um, I know there was like, if I, there was a bunch of stuff that I can't remember what they did, like, and it only shows part uh parts of them uh doing things and then um so anyway dipper is coming out to uh to do that but wendy's not even on the dance floor which seems like that might have been something they would wanted wanted to do like maybe that should have been step zero make sure she's there (laughs) but uh she's just in line for the bathroom and uh dipper just like has to improvise and starts having small talk and they're just like yeah if this place was infected with a zombie apocalypse who would survive and they're just like it's like i think it's that guy this dude just like sweating profusely just <laughs> punching the air just like wah, wah. <laughs> and uh and there's like i don't know stretch over there and they're just like and they just start like laughing and just like oh, okay cool we can have a real conversation like normal people without the list um so anyway she's like yeah Dipper, just uh wait up a sec and uh we'll go use the bathroom as pacifica comes out uh before and... that this is mm-hmm. where we like we said that the fun fact was where we learn about dipper's uh birthmark because wendy's uh because dipper makes a comment on that tall guy i thought mm-hmm. it was uh who would you bring with you on a deserted island because well, i think i i don't remember the actual question because dipper says something like the tall guy can reach coconuts or something like that i think so and then yeah. wendy pulls out the picture of her and her brothers and how tall she is in comparison with them and without thinking dipper's like oh wow you're a freak and she yeah. laughs about it and he feels bad about it but then he reveals that he has the birthmark so mm-hmm. she's like you have to show me you can't just tell me and not show me and then he shows the dipper on his forehead, and she was like, "Oh, nice! I I didn't know it was a nickname. I thought your parents just hated you." <laughs> yep. And then she jokes that they're both freaks, and then she goes to go use the bathroom. Yeah. Uh, 
Good thing that it was in a showable part of his body. <laughs> <laughs> Could have gotten really awkward. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so they show the birthmark when he goes in the bathroom. And then it's like the Dipper clones are just like, dude, you're not sticking with the plan. It's like, I don't. And he's like, dude, we just had a really cool conversation. Really, Ravondi and I, I don't think we need the plan. And they're like, oh. <gasps> what are you even dipper <laughs> <laughs> and um they they kind of have a battle uh it's just like a whole dipper fight um i will say they because they kind of just drag him away and it's like there's we we're talking about certain images that kind of induce unpleasant feelings well like there's a I think of this anytime I see it, whether it's like in goofy animation or in like real life or not real life, but like any kind of film adaptation because uh, it shows him like grinding the wood away with his fingernails mm-hmm. uh, as he's like, no, I'm pulling away. And it's like, now it's just like trying to show that he's fighting a little bit. I remember I saw a trailer where it was just like, it was the, it was a horror trailer and it was doing the same thing. And the girl fingernail pops off and it's just like every time i see fingernails dragging on the ground i can feel it right now i'm like (laughs) (laughs) i'm like it's like i don't get sick or anything but it's just like it's immediate where my brain goes and i'm like nope (laughs) (laughs) that's why i'm like okay i'm not going to dig in i'm just gonna pad and hope i grip something (laughs) channel my inner spider-man uh, but yeah, so they, they get there, they have this confrontation, and uh, they were like, well, you, I guess you're not uh, really a dipper anymore, and they <laughs> lock him in the closet. And what was the one? He's like, I can't breathe. He's like, yes, you can. Also, we put snacks in a coloring coloring, uh, coloring book yeah. book in there, and he's just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and he just sits down and just Angrily like, eats his snacks, yeah. his little it's cheese like, sticks. Yeah. And uh, so they're all sitting there. All the clones are like, so, okay, so who should go uh, dance with Wendy tonight? And then they kind of have a little bit of a fight. Don't, I think they also try to feed Paper Jam Dipper. Yeah, because uh, he's like complaining. Well. And they're like, oh, are you hungry? And then he doesn't know how to put it in his mouth. And he's like, oh, <laughs> oh. Um. Yeah. <laughs> and so they all begin having an argument. And then I think Tyrone is just like, hey, if we were locked in a closet, what would we do? And he's like, oh, we would escape. And they're just like, hey, yeah, yeah. And they turn around, and it's just like the door's wide open. And they're just like, ah! They're just <laughs> yelling at each other. <laughs> just, and so uh, Dip is right about to get to the party, and then they they kind of get into a fight. Uh, all the clones, there's a little bit of shenanigans that happen back and forth there. Um, and... Uh, dipper pretty much he breaks free by pretending that he's number seven and seven's like no that's not me dudes and then it reveals that it is him he pulls a pop party popper um just setting off the sprinkler system destroying all of them except for tyrone who is just like fighting him and they go they kind of come out in this balcony thing and they see that Robbie and um, Wendy are are dancing, uh, and they're just like, "Oh, we really just got in our own way," and kind of just like, "Go have a heart to heart." All while this is happening, there's another storyline of that we mentioned a little bit earlier of Mabel uh, versus Pacifica, uh, the start of a long running rivalry, rivalry, <laughs> rivalry, rivalry, whatever. How do you pronounce that word? And so, like, there's different cuts of, like, uh, Wendy, not Wendy, um, Mabel and, uh, and, uh, Pacifica, like, having dance-offs and, like, just different kind of competition stuff. Uh, I know there was, like, a dance, at least Mabel's dancing. I think they, oh, yeah, they have, um, karaoke Mm -hmm. to where it is legally distinct, don't stop believing. No, don't stop on un- oh, don't start unbelieving yeah feel I all remember. of your feelings do you have the lyrics up now? <laughs> no i just remember it because i watched it um uh before i went to the groceries today 
Here, we could read the lyrics right here. Oh, you found them. Yeah, if you scroll down uh, to songs featured, they always have always means forever as well, which is the one that uh, Pacific sings, mm. which we only hear the end of it, which is always means forever, always forever. <laughs> um, then don't start unbelieving. Well, we only heard the first part. Yeah, well, what you just said. That's all that's all they say. So that's the whole song. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so they, they have all these different things, and uh, it's like Seuss pretty much gets up, and he's like, okay, everybody, it's time to vote on who will be uh, the party queen or whatever. I, I Whoever gets the party crown. Yeah, Yeah, the party crown. And so they're like, okay, who thinks Mabel gets it? And and it's just like, and like yeah. Like everyone cheers, and he's like, aw. And he goes like halfway. And then pacifica like there's like who votes for pacifica and then it's like considerably less and then um she uses an aura of intimidation to force the uh, everyone to give her half-hearted cheers Mm -hmm. which brings it about halfway and sus the the concept of this line that he says next is just a little bit baffling to me where he's just like oh straight tie this has never happened before this party is not an I annual know. event. <laughs> this is like it's the, the first, first time, time he's this... DJed. And... Yeah, man. First time he's DJed. First time this party's ever happened. The first time I think the... <laughs> they gave away a party crown. <laughs> so while there's like confusion and everything, um, Pacifica sneaks up to McD- McGucket and waves a dollar near him. And he like pretty much... S- pulls a grunkle stand yeah. and just like and just starts yelling to get to just a snippet over halfway <laughs> and uh yeah and pacifica wins and uh yeah they're just all kind of just sitting there and she's like mabel's like yeah well talking to grenda and cindy just like i are candy not cindy um she's like yeah well i understand if you guys want to go and have a party on the yacht that uh Pacifica tells everyone to come over to. I think it's a, a yacht or a boat or something. I can't yeah. remember. And, uh, and everyone pretty much goes there. And she's like, yeah, I can understand. And, like, Grenda and Candy are like, no, we're going to go get our stuff and, and hang out. Like, this is, you're awesome. <laughs> and all that stuff. And so Mabel makes her friends, and they're they're all dancing on there. Uh, also, while all this is going on, uh, Dipper and Tyrone make it, make their way back up to the roof or not back up to, but up for the first time, uh, kind of where Wendy and Dipper, uh, hang out on the roof. Uh, I don't know if it's this episode or last episode in one of the episodes previous. Yeah. Um, and they kind of have a little bit of like a heart to heart. Just like, dude, we just got in our way and everything like, yeah, well, okay. Maybe. And like, they come to an understanding and they're just like, uh, share like a drink of dr pit or diet pit and uh just like okay and as they're drinking (laughs) it just cracks me up that tyrone forgot that the thing that kills him is (laughs) liquid (laughs) and he just dies and pretty much tells him like dude stop stop being like stand up for yourself and all that like and, Mm -hmm. and make sure you can dance with wendy do it for me and all this other stuff and then Dipper's like no and like pours one out for him and <laughs> finishes drinking and then they go back they go downstairs and uh they're all just kind of dancing together uh and and yeah it's uh, I'm trying to remember there's like if I think there's a line where it's just like they ask him where he goes and he's just like where he's been he's just like ah that and then Dip, uh Mabel yells at dipper to come meet his new friends yeah the i think the big lore dump uh we get right before he goes back inside is that he asks uh tyrone he's like do you think we ever had a shot with wendy because we're 12 and she's 15 Mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. because before for some reason i thought wendy was 16 yeah because i remember they said that line i was like i think it was just last episode Mm -hmm. that oh no two episodes ago because that's when they go to the convenience store. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much the episode. 
Uh, the only other important thing is that it shows the end of Seuss playing every key in his keyboard <laughs> to find out what they do. Uh, and then it's finally the last one that he's been looking for all night, which is the thunder. Uh, the yeah. one that he meant to push at the beginning. Yeah, because in the beginning he's like, this party party's electric, like lightning, and then does like a cat noise. <laughs> yeah, and then just like, yeah! yeah. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> a lot of characters we meet in this. Um, a lot of ones. Yeah, a lot of ones that will be sticking around. Uh, that we'll be seeing in in future episodes. Um, and uh, it it's really funny just to think. I don't know, because like realistically looking at it, twelve and fifteen really isn't all that far apart from like our point of view of life oh, yeah, but like but at that point it's just like <laughs> it's like a 24 to 27 year old you'd be like whatever that's not a big deal mm-hmm. but 12 to 15 is just massive in terms of where you are in terms of growth <laughs> yeah well like and they do they show it in this where it's just like mabel and dipper if they didn't say that they were 12 kind of look like they would be like like seven to nine years old yeah strider <laughs> and... was like oh right uh he was like with our height difference i would have guessed she wendy was 16 and dipper was like 10 or like you can or even with dipper because they do say in the beginning that they're 12 like mm-hmm. that wendy could be like in college or something like that yeah. like with just just the way it's it all comes especially out especially because like robbie and them are the same height as wendy mm-hmm. um so yeah so they they go and do all that um yeah let's see if there's any continuity stuff for us to keep track of across it looks like Uh, seuss's keyboard effect with a yeah sound (laughs) was also in the headhunters episode um wendy brings up the events from the convenience store when she talks to dipper yeah and yes and you mentioned uh, Dipper and Tyrone sit at Wendy's hiding spot from the inconceiving episode. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, sorry. I was like, I was reading this one line and I was like, about this is where it's officially like revealed, I think, of that Manly Dan. We see Manly Dan's sons in the picture with Wendy. Uh, but like, the only other time we see them is when they're fishing in the boat. And I think this is the first time that they're like all together. Like mm, kind of, mm-hmm. um, because like, I think they're sitting next to each other in the episode before this, but it's like, they're not really interacting. I don't with think each Wendy other. was at the diner. I thought she was. I don't remember her being at the diner. I um, thought she was on the bar, but it's possible. But yeah, it's, and then, like we said, we meet a lot of new characters. Pacifica is brought up to be the most popular girl. And, ooh, sorry. and then Grenda's like, she makes me feel bad. <laughs> yeah. Grenda's great. Yeah, I like Grenda. <laughs> and then it says, uh, Grenda feels bad about herself. Oh, yes, when Pacifica's around her. And that mm-hmm. Grenda could sing like Pacifica used to until her voice changed. Changed. And yep. Pacifica said the really mean thing. She's like, you sound like a professional wrestler. And Grenda <laughs> yeah. goes, I'll put you in a headlock. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, <laughs> apparently, uh, I, I remember her saying this line, but uh, Mabel says, that sounds like a dumb idea for poop heads. I don't remember. Like, I remember her saying it. I don't remember the context the context but according to this trivia thing disney asia when they released that episode is that line is cut (laughs) (laughs) um but yeah so overall uh it's uh this is i don't know this is like this is a fun episode uh this feels like a lot more of like a twilight zone scenario Mm-hmm, with the multiple dippers fighting with each other and then yeah. i like the line where he's like i thought we said we weren't gonna like get jealous of each other it's like <laughs> we all knew we were lying yeah <laughs> um 
Oh, and then the logic was that Tyrone's like, I've been around the longest, so I deserve to dance with Wendy. And Dipper 10 is like, well, I've been around the least, so I deserve to dance with Wendy. And everyone's like, yeah. what? No. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. And then, then, then Paper Jam Dipper's just like, Gah! <laughs> just like, what? <laughs> That's when they fe- try to feed him. Yeah. Uh, there's there's the other part when they all like start melting because the sprinklers go off and they're just like, and they're like, no, this is terrible. And like, <laughs> Paper Jam Dipper in some I was just like, ah, it's probably better off this way. <laughs> yes, he clearly was suffering. <laughs> um, so then that brings us to um, characters. Who would you say you was your favorite this episode? We'll do it in that order. Hmm. Let's see. I don't know. Like, I'm trying to think of what character made like just generally made me laugh the whole time, and it's just like, like Grenda and Candy are pretty cool. Like, they they made me laugh, but like, it feels like there was more just an introduction, and we didn't like get a, a ton of them. Uh. While <laughs> I, I think I'd, I, I'll have to give it to Paper Jam Differ. <laughs> that is a good one. I was going to say, personally, for me, it's Grenda. Because yeah. she's like, I think it's also because I like her a lot in another episode that's coming up mm-hmm. uh, when they go visit the Pacifica Mansion. But yep. Grenda in this one is just very funny because it's almost as if she she's the kind of character that plays it straight but everything is just a huge joke where you know the line about you're a wrestler and she's like i'll put her in a headlock yeah <laughs> yeah she she is great it it like i don't know it's just like the other question is where did that lizard go it just uh, yeah it disappeared. disappears and i also like that she is very nice to like mabel where she was just like why wouldn't we want to sleep over we're your friends yeah. now because mabel made the comment like i have found my people yeah um yeah so they i i really like their friendship because it's like i don't know it it is a little bit interesting because it is a theme that they kind of touch on a little bit before this where like wendy doesn't have really any friends her her age mabel who did I say? Wendy. Oh. Yes. I met Mabel. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, I was like, Wendy has a whole crew. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mabel mentioned she doesn't have any friends her age. Uh, and needless to say, neither does Differ. <laughs> Differ doesn't look for it, though. Differ, That's a difference. Yeah. Differ, <laughs> Differ's in his own world, man. <laughs> <laughs> so who but, would you say you're most like, then? Uh, Pacifica now. <laughs> <laughs> Bribing now, people for votes. I'm, I'm too cheap to buy myself stuff. <laughs> like, I just bought myself a food processor. And I'm like, and uh, I realized because they're like, hey, you ordered this. It's coming in. I'm like, oh, that's right. I got the cheap one because it was cheap. Also, <laughs> it was going to take like two weeks to show up and it was pink. So it's just like, I don't, literally don't care, but it was the cheap one. <laughs> I hope it works. <laughs> um, so yeah, all my utensils will be black and white and then one pink. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think, because it's like, there's like bits and pieces I feel like I can relate with some of the characters, but like, not to the extent like i i do plan and stuff and try to figure stuff out like kind of how different the clones go but it's not th- to that extent <laughs> it's, mm-hmm. um and i'm i i more fall into like scheduling but i feel like within the past year i've gotten better <laughs> it's just like no nope. Actually, I'm a lot more forgiving with other people than myself. So it's just like... So I wouldn't say... That's why I would kind of lean away from that. And it's... I don't know if I would have the motivation to fight myself. Especially in clone form. <laughs> um, hmm. I... 
Oh, man, this is tough because it's like, like I, I'm definitely not a Wendy because it's just like I wouldn't want to be in the party. Um, let's see. Well, I'm gonna have another, another copy. I feel like I, even though Grunkle Stan isn't in here, a whole lot, he isn't here. When he is here, he planned this whole event and made it get together and made sure that it actually ran, even if he gets distracted by money <laughs> and it is for ill means. I can see, I have done this multiple times where people are like, oh, we want to do this. And then I just end up end being up, a planner, end up planning and making sure everything runs. So, uh, and then is normally just stands in the background while everyone has fun. So okay, so yes, I I feel like I could be a I would align with Grunkle Stan in this. I really hope Grunkle Stan is not <laughs> <laughs> your <laughs> ultimate. I'm like oh man, it's like in one sense that means I'm eventually gonna have a pretty decent relationship with my brothers and their kids. Uh, Grand kids. nephew. Yeah, I will have decent relationships with them, so it's like, I'm okay with that, but he doesn't have a good life. We find that out later. It wasn't <laughs> great. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's got it kind of tough. Um, <laughs> so then, when it comes to me, on one hand, I think I'm kind of like Dipper, but that was more so when I was younger, where I would set up a bunch of expectations for things and go like, mm -hmm. okay, if I do all these things, then everything will turn out the way, and everyone will have a great time. Guess what? That's not how the world works. Ha <laughs> ha. Imagine. What? <laughs> um see i'm not mabel i'm not extroverted i'm not looking to be the center of the party um i'm not one that really cares for djing so i can't say i'm like Zeus. <laughs> but are what? you distracted by small shiny objects sometimes uh <laughs> wendy yeah she's like she's kind of just like floating in and out and doing her own thing but i I don't think I would really align with how she handles it. Like, she's not too too crazy in any direction, but she's a free spirit, and that's also not me. So I think I'm leaning towards Dipper. Robbie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the person that brings guitars to parties. I've, I, I am putting myself as Dipper for this episode for most, like... No, mm -hmm. I have been to a party where a guy uh, brought a sketchbook, and he just sat in the corner of the room sketching... And my friend that I went with to the party uh, was like, hey, what are you drawing? Because, like, I'm an artist, too. And I like to meet other people and see what their styles are. And he was like, not for you. Like, that's essentially how he reacted. Because <laughs> the person hosting the party was a girl that was single. So then my oh. friend was like, fine, if you're going to be a jerk about it, I don't want to <laughs> talk to you. <laughs> He sounds like a very well-adjusted person. <laughs> <laughs> and then this other guy did bring his acoustic guitar, and he just <sighs> sat there, like, tuning it. And then my buddy was like, oh, what music do you like to play? He's like, oh, you know. And we were like, no, we don't. And he's That's like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just plays, like, one chord that he learned off of YouTube. Just like, ba -da -da ding <laughs> Yes, but again, like, those two feel like Robbie, where Robbie's like, look at my new guitar. It's like, you came to a dance party. And brought something like this. We know why you brought this. It's not because you want anybody else to talk to you. I I will say, um, he pulls it out, and I used to play in a few bands, and how they keep talking about guitars. That is a bass guitar. That is not <laughs> an electric guitar. <laughs> that That's has, funny. It has four strings, <laughs> and I'm like sitting there, and it's like I I know it's not a detail that I need to. Get Harp Matt, on. <laughs> yeah, to, to like a die on, but it's like every time I see it, I'm just like, that is a bass. <laughs> and so I'm like, okay, and then watch, we're gonna find out. Someone's gonna like listen to this episode and be like, um, actually, there's a four string guitar, and I'll tell them, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you in advance. <laughs> I'm looking it up in in the in the bloops. Where's the bloops <laughs> of this episode? I know it's in one of these the little things. The list of goofs. Yeah, I, I don't know where that went. I know it's... I don't think it's not listed for this episode. I thought I saw one somewhere, but... A list of goofs. 
But yeah, there's a list of goofs. There is one for that episode, but they don't bring up the guitar. Yeah. I don't know. The other thing that is just that I thought was interesting that Tara Strong's in this episode. Who does she voice? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I was trying to find out. But I cut you off, uh, Dipper, as I look up Tara Strong's thing. Was there anything else you wanted to say about Dipper before I? No, I, I think it's fine. Oh, she's just additional voices, so she might uh, just be. She's like the whole crowd. Yeah. I think Tara Strong is like one of my f- favorite people to like watch behind the scene videos as she just drops into voices. She's very funny. She's very good mm-hmm. at it. <laughs> just like she was doing Timmy Turner the one time, and she cursed as Timmy Turner, and everyone's just like, "Wait, Timmy cursed!" <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. So what I was gonna remember is the person that voices Cindy, uh, also voices Bimo and Lady Rainicorn in Adventure Time. Sydney. C- uh, Candy. Candy. Yes, you said Cindy. Earlier, I I and said then I mixed I did. it up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. Nick- Nikki Yang. I don't know who those other people are that you mentioned. <laughs> Beep boop and who? Bemo and Lady Rainicorn from Adventure Time. Oh, okay. I I thought the last thing was all one name. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I never watched Adventure Time, but I'll admit I saw uh, I saw like clip which I think is like an end spoiler, and I'm like. I'm not gonna watch this show, but man, it got a little, little bit intriguing. <laughs> I'm just, I'm like, hmm. I don't plan on watching this, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I can convince you. I convince you to watch Gravity Falls. Yeah, but the Gravity Falls, I didn't have uh, a whole bunch of brothers <laughs> going and be like, you gotta watch this. How many episodes of... I'm not committing. I'm just wondering. How many episodes of Adventure Time are there? A lot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I just burped my response, which was oh. <laughs> but, uh... 283. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let's just watch the last one. <laughs> <laughs> um... I don't know. I think if we do that, we would have to do more... <laughs> Break it up um, into sections. We break it up into sections, or I don't know. That that is a that is a podcast all on its own. <laughs> that is one that like we would release every day. <laughs> like just get far enough ahead. We we get far enough ahead in our horror movie thing, and then just like <laughs> just put out episodes so that way for the year twenty twenty five. <laughs> it's just every day we put out an adventure time episode. I don't think I would like it very much. <laughs> <laughs> We're not making promises, but anyway, guys. Um Yeah, so there's that. Uh and next episode is Irrational Treasure. Wait a second. Which one is this? Is this uh it is this one. Okay. This I like this one. Which, this is, um, is it, no, okay, I was thinking if there was a certain character, which I haven't seen, uh, any, uh, notes that a certain character has shown up. So, old time travel boy. Yeah, it's been a while. So. Since he's made a, another appearance. Yes, but, um. I feel like whenever I look up what the next episode... Oh, he's... Yep. In two episodes, we'll, we'll get a, a very <laughs> focused episode. Um, but yeah. It's it's crazy to think. Like, we're a quarter... Almost a quarter of the way through. Um, but yeah. So anyway, uh, if you guys list, liked listening and made it this far, well, aren't you a cool kitten? Um, Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, if you do the social media stuff, say hi or tell us something that we got wrong or who is, what character do you, uh, align with on a spiritual level that you let us know or not. But anyway, uh, if you guys also enjoyed, I 
we'll remember to check uh, reviews and stuff before we start recording. Uh, so if you guys did do one, thank you. I just didn't see it yet. And uh, my body is telling me that it has to do some natural things. So thank you for listening. I hope you all have a good night and bye bye.